Yo, welcome back to the video. Guys, I know I say this every single week that I'm so excited for the next chapter, but this week, this week in particular, there's there's just nothing, there's no coming back. This week's chapter, I am literally the most excited about. And if you are excited for Yami's return, don't forget to hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, because over 40% of you who watch these videos aren't subscribed. Bad. So with that being said, let's go straight into Asta and Yami's potentially final fight. Alright, chill, jumping straight into it. Obviously, when I say final fight, you could take that in a few different ways. For the longest time, even myself especially, have suspected that Yami is going to die this arc. And not only just Yami, according to Julius' prediction, there is no option where Asta doesn't die. Either the kingdom is destroyed, which Asta saved the kingdom, or Asta dies. So, out of these two options, either Asta dies or the kingdom is destroyed, and the kingdom was saved by Asta, so Asta is going to die. Now, that's obviously see Julius's prediction this whole arc has been about breaking fate so we'll have to see what happens there but this very much could be Asta and Yami's final fight now Asta is very down bad at the moment he can't even move his hand if you've paid attention to the last week's chapter Noct was literally moving Asta's hand with his own shadow magic so to going into this chapter I do believe Asta is gonna get second wind just like he did when yami called his name and he's going to try to support captain yami the best he can we're actually gonna get yami knocked an asta combo now pausing right there i've asked a lot of people on discord and we'll get into their predictions in a few minutes but a lot of people have been suspecting that we're actually gonna see a will a william and yami combo now, William and Yami have been together for a very long time. They've known each other, essentially, for almost forever. And they've been best friends for the longest time, up until, obviously, William's betrayal and the Kingdom's massacre. But we don't talk about that. Anyway, a William and Yami combo would honestly be really, really cool. But my own personal prediction is that William's magic doesn't really allow him to fight. William's magic allows him to be the best support he can be. So I do honestly expect in Black Hole Chapter 323 that William is going to be more on the back burner, especially since Mimosa is now completely out of magic, which obviously rightfully so. She literally brought back three people from death. So I can understand why Mimosa is out of magic. I expect William to be on the back burner, healing all the captains. And in chapter 324 or even 325, I think they're going to land a decisive blow or something is going to change. Now remember, chapter 323 could potentially be the second to last chapter of Black Clover Volume 32. At the end of Black Clover Volume 31, Lucifero manifested himself as this giant dick monster. So the ending to Volume 32, I believe, is going to be where we are going to see one of the first major losses in the Black Clover manga. Now, this could obviously be Yami. Yami death flags by your death flags. I highly doubt it's going to be knocked. Knocked is very suicidal, but I highly doubt he's going to die. That is his atonement for him to survive and not be able to go and be with Morgan in the afterlife. I believe that is a very fitting atonement for Noct. The fact that he has to live this life in regret. I feel like that's very, very sufficient for Noct. But Yami and Asta... I've got some bad feelings for Yami and Asta, and honestly, in all, in all honesty, I'm actually really scared. Now, in all honesty as well, if Yami is back, Vanessa, Ghosh, uh, Charmy, and all of them were very close to Yami, so theoretically, all of these people should also be getting back up. Like, hello? Where is Noelle? So chapter 323 could honestly start with Finral jumping in, could start with Vanessa jumping in, though I doubt Vanessa's gonna be able to do anything, but Charmy, hello, Charmy, arguably one of the strongest characters in the Black Cloververse currently, being able to just completely eat magic is honestly better than being able to negate magic. Asta's useless compared to Charmy. Oh, I mean, if they fight, that doesn't really work because she can't eat anti-magic, but that's not the point. The point is, Charmy could literally start consuming gravity, Lucifero's magic, and just be 
boosted to out of proportion levels. I, if, if this arc ends without Charmy getting a major moment, I'm, I'm a riot. I'm a fucking riot. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm a riot. If Charmy doesn't get up, start eating gravity, and just shadokens Lucifero straight into the face. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, my theories are great as always, amazing, perfect, wonderful. But over on Discord, I asked you guys what you think is going to happen in Black Clover Chapter 333, 323 and beyond. And we picked a few answers, uh, which we're going to go for right now. So the first person we picked, shout outs to Yuna, says, The chapter starts with Yami and Vengeance being shown facing Lucifero, confirming that the sword that Yami used was World Tree Magic. Now, a lot of people were confused. I don't know why. It was very obvious that Yami was holding a branch of the World Tree. But it's whatever. The two will use a combo spell of Patri on the side. Uh, chapter ends with either Lucifero being unaffected or Lucifero being affected by the attack. No, it's, it's a pretty good theory. <laughs> Plague Doc says Yami and Noct fights Lucifer while Austin tries to help Mariliona. Is then beaten in the chapter ends with the Black Bulls showing up again. That's a pretty good prediction. Where are the Black Bulls? Oxy Goldman says we see Yuno defeated. Yami and William begin to hold off Lucifer while Seki decides to carry someone off on his bike. Ah, uh, I, I guess it's a pretty interesting theory. Yuno defeated. I doubt that. I. I need out that. Shez the Master says, Yami confirms the sword was made from Vengeance's magic. William is the back using budding of Yggdrasil, healing spell on the captains. Hey, exactly what I predicted. And Lucifero attempts to stop him. Chapter ends with the world tree being formed and Adromolic finally making a move. Adromolic finally makes a move. And I doubt that as well. From what I've seen from Adromolic, I highly doubt he's going to help Lucifero. Like, Lucifero dying doesn't seem to be his issue at all. Now, at the end of the day, Adromalek is the strongest devil in the second gate. So, he is a very strong devil and most likely, on like, above uh, Lilith and Nahama. Nama. So, I'm interested to see what he finally does. But for now, I doubt Adromalek is making the move. Caped Baldi says, Noct convinces the second gate devil to help in fighting against Lucifero by pointing out that if Lucifero doesn't manifest fully, he's going to kill him. Asta and Yami and Yuno William fight Lucifero and Yami and William eventually sacrifice the lives to save Asta and Yuno to take down Lucifero's partial manifest. I don't, I don't think all of that is going to happen in this chapter. I do like this theory on Noct talking to Adromalek. I feel like that would work because I'm, I'm very curious on what Adromalek's plans are. Uh, chapter starts with Yami entering the battle with his makeshift sword. We found out that Yami is a power-up because of his time with the cliff-off that gives Noct the will to fight alongside his captain. Chapter ends with Yami and Noct biding enough time for Asta to go Devil Union. One. Ooh. I like this one. I like... Ooh. I think I think my, my vote for my fate... Is this the last one? That is the last one. Yo! Oh, I like this one. Maybe like a partial devil union, like he's half human, half devil union. Now that would be super cool. And a Yami and Noct combo, I'm loving it. Anyway, what is your favorite prediction? What is your prediction for Black Clover Chapter 323? Leave it in the comment section down below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.